How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to give you an update on the CPI reading that just came in. I also want to talk about some Tesla news and talk about crypto in general. If you don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, I really do appreciate that. I'm going to try to keep this nice and short. There is a link down there to BlockFi as well, where you can get up to $1,000 just for starting to deposit and trade on BlockFi. Now we just got the CPI reading. It came in at 8.5% which is below the expectation. So we were expecting about 8.7%, came in at 8.5%. That's obviously very positive. Uh, we already saw oil start to fall down in price. We saw some other commodities fall down. Core inflation now stayed about the same, 5.9%. Uh, this was uh, not what was expected. It actually came in better than expected. The consensus was that we were actually gonna go up to 6.1% again. So this is also somewhat positive. When this came out, when this news came out, you can see Bitcoin pumped very heavily from about 23,000 in two minutes up to about 23,700. Now it's kind of falling just slightly. Uh, you have to realize that there's gonna be some people that were just buying right ahead of this to get the news or some people that had bots set up uh, just to sell as soon as it happened depending on what came out. So there's gonna be a little bit of volatility in the short term, but I think this is obviously really, really positive. Now we have next month CPI before the Fed announces their next rate hike, but I think the overall market is gonna take this very positively because again, if this happens uh, where we have another good CPI print next month, that just means the Fed is less likely to have to continue to raise interest rates which means that there are a lot of companies that will be able to raise for cheaper. The discounted cash flow is more in favor of higher risk companies. Now, with that in mind, speaking of a higher risk company, we did have Elon Musk selling almost 8 million shares of Tesla last night worth about $7 billion. Uh, this obviously came as a surprise to a lot of people because he said just four months ago that he was not gonna be selling any more stock. He says, uh, this says here that he sold on the 5th, 8th, and 9th. Now, looking at the Tesla chart, these are the days that we actually fell pretty dramatically in price. And you could tell that there's a lot of selling pressure. After this happened, uh, it came out that it was pretty much just to make sure that there was not a, uh, a huge event, an emergency sale of Tesla that had happened, assuming the Twitter deal has to close and some equity partners don't come through. So Elon Musk explains that's the reason why he sold. And he also explains that if the Twitter deal doesn't close, he will buy this Tesla stock again, about $7 billion. Now keep in mind, he has to pay taxes and stuff like that as well, but that's gonna be a significant buying pressure. And Twitter stock uh, or Tesla stock hasn't really moved down all that much on this news. Tesla stock, if we pull it up here, uh, after he announced that he sold and why he sold, it actually went up a few percent. And you can see exactly when he sold again. So on the 5th, we had a lot of selling pressure. And then on the 8th and 9th, so pretty much the last uh, few trading days. And this is right after the Tesla event. And then another piece of news we should cover, Iran has $10 million worth of crypto to pay for an import. Uh, they used $10 million, they didn't say what they bought and they didn't say what crypto they used. I'm assuming Bitcoin because they are big Bitcoin miners there. Uh, they've been Bitcoin mining for a while. This is, I think, just another step where some countries trying to get away from the US dollar. Russia said that they're going to do that as well or they might do that. They might accept uh, Bitcoin as payment. And obviously Iran is just testing it out. $10 million isn't that much for a country. Uh, especially Iran, but that just moves them further along to using Bitcoin more long-term to be able to, again, get away from the US dollar because a lot of countries want to do that. Uh, they could put a lot of power back in these countries' hands if the US dollar wasn't as strong. Now, let me know what you th think about this underneath the video. I think this will scare the US slightly, but there's not really much they can do besides just putting more sanctions on these countries. The fact is we still need some of these countries and we need uh, their oil, we need their exports. Bitcoin probably will become more popular as time goes on and it will just be slow at first, but then eventually more and more people will want to settle in Bitcoin for the finality, 
for the quickness of it, uh, for a variety of reasons as well, because no country really has great control over Bitcoin at this point. Uh, as far as we know, there are some countries that have some Bitcoin themselves, but there's no huge leader uh, to the fact that or to the point that uh, a country couldn't catch up or at least the U.S. couldn't catch up if they really tried to buy a significant amount of Bitcoin. The fact is they probably could. They could work with some different exchanges to do that just as a hedge against their own dollar falling. But that would be the ultimate uh, the ultimate show that Bitcoin is the way to go because even the U.S. doesn't believe in their dollar. So that might not be something that they're willing to do. Now, let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the CPI print. Obviously, very positive for risk on investors. Not very good if you are uh, short the market or anything like that. But again, I just think it's really positive. About the best news that we could hope for, short of you know 8.4, 8.3, but 8.5 is better than I expected. It's better than the economists expected. So quite positive. Again, thank you so much for watching. Check out the link underneath the video to BlockFi and I will see you in the next one. Bye.